especially in the Philippines, what island or what, and every island's different, and the culture's a little different. So you're gonna wanna visit those areas, and you might like it, and then you might not like that one and wanna move somewhere else. Well, if channel and today I am here in Ayala and meet one of my subscribers finally we meet to each other and um, his name is Steve and um, she, he was from Thailand before he came here in the Philippines so Steve welcome to my channel and uh, thank you for to be on my channel and thank you for the interview would you please tell your uh, anything else about yourself or would like to share to viewers about your information? Well, I'm looking to retire soon. I'm from the United States. I'm from Connecticut. And um, I've worked a lot over the last five years, especially during the pandemic. I worked excessive overtime and a lot of hours uh, at a university I work at. So, um, it's, it's time to look for a retirement, and uh, I'm looking to stretch my dollars. So uh, I followed a lot of you YouTubers, and uh, been itching to get over here to both Thailand and the Philippines, and maybe a few other countries. And this was the start. Um, and so I finally got to take some time off. Uh, are you single or in relationship? I'm single. Okay, so you are switching. <laughs> I'm not actually. I'm searching more for a place. Ah, okay. A place a to stay. Well, uh, yeah. So, uh, I always find that, that that's what some folks make a mistake is they come for the person and, and, uh, yeah. and not um not get yourself settled because you, know, you want to find out kind of especially in the Philippines what island or what and every island's different. And the culture is a little different, so you're gonna want to visit those areas, and you might like it, and then you might not like that one and want to move somewhere else. Well, if that woman's from that area, you're kind of screwed to that area. You know what I mean? So you you don't want to do that. You want to. What is your first impression or experience on the first day uh, here in the Philippines, especially here in Singapore? My first day, I won't mention the hotel. <laughs> It, it, it looked really good on the Goda, but it had no hot water. <laughs> and I, no hot, no hot, and I mean no um, hot no, water. No hot water. So um, I had to take a native shower, mm. which we know what that is. And uh, since I'm paying for a hotel room, I didn't. I just told them that was enough. Uh, you advertised the, uh, it, your your place incorrectly. Well, we heat our rooms by solar water, and it's been cloudy the last couple of days, so everyone in that hotel is taking cold showers, and I'm like, that's not what people pay for. You know? So speaking of the hotel, how's the, uh, what, what are the difference of the infrastructure of hotel here in the Philippines rather than Thailand? Personally, I thought my, my hotel experience in Thailand <laughs> Especially the last one I left, I will, I will say the name was called the Tropicana Hotel off Beach Road and, and the staff there was uh, very friendly, uh, anything you needed they took care of and yeah there's places that when you come to Asia that every hotel needs a little touch up of paint here or there but let me tell you for the most part you just want to make sure it's clean, the bed's comfortable and, and that's, that's all. Actually the place I'm at right now um, that was the best, last night was the best night's sleep I've had. A nice soft bed, I sleep on my side, so it was much more comfortable. By the way, if you don't mind, how old are you? I am 60. Oh, you don't seem 60 years old, you are young. Every, everyone tells me that here yeah. in Asia. I don't know why. Are you guys are just trying to make me feel good? I have no idea. But uh, I was told that in Thailand as well. What are your thoughts on being a foreigner here in the well, I think my thought on that is, and it's from my observation, that no matter what country you're from, when you come to Thailand or the Philippines, 
or any other country, um, foreigners are guests in that country and you need to show respect for the people yeah. in that country. And my observation is some foreigners don't really respect the people uh, that they're visiting, the country they're in. When you come to the Philippines, don't disrespect Filipinos. Uh, even if there's something that they do that you don't like or, or you don't agree with them, um, treat them with respect and to say no thank you and, and move on. But don't, don't uh, get into some verbal confrontation. I've seen some uh, verbal abuse of some stuff and I did not really, um, I didn't care for that. I was kind of turned off by those people. What can you say about Filipinos? Well, they're all friendly. One day experience. The ones, I, I've experienced quite a few, and they're always friendly. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I told, spoke to you earlier, um, the ca all the cab drivers here, uh, and I was warned, take the white cabs, not the yellow cabs. <laughs> not but, the black cabs. <laughs> yeah, or the yellow ones, they said, just, but take the white cabs. And the white, uh, all the cabs that I've, I've taken, um, People were very polite. Everything was very nice. Gentlemen had nice conversation. Everything was uh, it was good. Um, and I never felt like I was they were taking advantage of you on the fair or trying to screw over the foreigners. Thailand taxis were not the same. They are, always seemed to be trying to pull one over. So that's that's my opinion of the Thailand uh, cab situation. But here I know. Um, People were very friendly even when I went to uh, the um, cathedrals and took photos and stuff. And uh, people were, weren't rude. People were very pleasant. So. Yeah, that's just, just that's, that's how they are. Did you try Filipino food? Not really. Not that I haven't got the full. But you really would like to try it? Yes. In fact, in fact, to give you an example, when I was in Thailand, for two weeks, only two meals of my entire stay in Thailand um, were American meals. Everything else I ate was Thai. Uh, so that'll give you an indication what happens here. Uh, I'll, I generally try to eat as much um, food that's native food um, within limits. I mean, um, I'm not a I, I, I'm more of a fruit and vegetable person than um, I don't like a lot of fatty foods, stuff like that. I do want to do the, some lechon when I'm here. Yeah, lechon. What is your impromptu or uh, why you decided to do some What? Why you decided to do some Well, like I said, I'm, I'm looking at is this a place I might want to retire? Um, Location, the environment, the culture, if am I going to like it? Um, there are always language issues, uh, barriers, because, you know, uh, here they speak both Messiah and uh, Tagalog. And so it, it's kind of a mixed bag. And, and then when you move to other islands, they speak other dialects. So yeah. you, 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 it makes it more complicated for the foreigner. And what are some of the tips or advice that you would like to give to other foreigners who want to visit Well, don't take every YouTuber's advice for gospel. No offense. But try to pull as many, what I've done over the last five or six years, is pull as much information actually hard information from folks like yourself yeah. and, and, and do a good planning. Um, planning is the key uh, over here as, as far as I'm concerned. If you don't plan things out enough, it's going to cost you financial. It's going to be finding a lot more financial mistakes you're going to make. Either you get your money over here, or gain rates, uh, things like that. Because in, on my channel, I share the negative and the positive about Philippines. I don't uh, share more on the positive because I don't want that my subscriber will be from over here and visit. Oh, Sharon always says the Philippines is paradise, which is not all here in the Philippines are paradise. 
There are some people living in the very poor or slum area. There are also uh, Philippine people are struggling. And, and, and I did take photos of those areas yeah. to bring home because I think people need to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. There's, 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 there's a whole mix. Um, what places or attraction you most excited to see or experience? Well, Chocolate Hills would be one. Uh, and ears. And uh, really want to go just. Some people have no want to do it, but I actually want to go and see the waterfall and go see uh, the natural beauty that, that the Philippines has, not just the cities. I've seen uh, I've seen enough city life for the last two weeks. Um, you know, I, I want to travel. Um, when I move on in the next few days, I'll I'm gonna travel on to there and uh, do the whole and do Maggetti and, and, and just um, kind of Check out the scene. Excuse me. See if it's something I feel comfortable. I don't want to. I, I don't believe in jumping in with both feet because yeah. it's the guys that do that. I think you you make a mistake. What is your opinion about each girl relationship? I really don't have an issue with it. Mm -hmm. um, I, when when when. When you come over and you're looking for ladies mm -hmm. under, say, 22, 25, mm -hmm. um, I, I tend to think you're not going to have that mental connection where you're going to be able to communicate and have the same interests. It's, and that's not, I'm not saying that's, there's not exceptions to the rule, but um, I think in any of that kind of situation, People need to be able to communicate and have a balance. If you choose a country, where would you like to retire? Thailand or Philippines? That is going to be up in the air. <laughs> because I really don't. Yeah. It, it was, it was, I, and I've already thought of this before you even ask that question. Because for me, I. I've spoken with Old Dog New Tricks about this, mm. and um, he agrees on that too. So sometimes staying all in this one place is too much. Yeah. Um, it's splitting it up like you rented the house here for six months, and when I went to Thailand for six months, and then come back for another six months. Or, or you do eight months and four months, break it up. Um, uh, because being retired and being in one place doesn't bring you any new um, experiences and that's really what I want more and more, more experiences. So Steve, thank you so much. That's all everyone. Um, thank you so much for to be on my channel and for the answer for this interview and um, enjoy your next trip and keep safe and he only call me on the weekends when you're out and about. Only chasing highs, he need me. He brings me flowers on a tube.